coming up on 5-Minute News. Russia strikes Ukraine ports, compromising grain exports. Burger chain bans employees from wearing masks in five states. And global power demand to grow in 2024 after slowdown. It's Thursday, July 20. I'm Anthony Davis. Russia warned that from Thursday, any ship sailing to Ukraine's Black Sea ports would be seen as potentially carrying military cargoes as Kiev accused Moscow of carrying out hellish overnight strikes that damaged grain export infrastructure. Russia attacked the Odessa region for the second consecutive night after quitting a year-old deal on Monday, allowing the safe passage of Ukrainian grain through the Black Sea, a decision that prompted the United Nations to warn it risked creating hunger around the world. Ukraine, which wants to try to continue Black Sea grain shipments vital to global food supplies, said on Wednesday it was setting up a temporary shipping route via Romania. Ukraine's Prosecutor General's office said 10 civilians, including a nine-year-old boy, were wounded. Grain terminals were damaged as well as an industrial facility, warehouses, shopping malls, residential and administrative buildings and cars. Flames and smoke rose from shattered warehouses in video released by the emergency ministry, which also showed a residential block with shattered windows. The International Monetary Fund on Wednesday said Russia's exit from the deal threatens to increase global food insecurity and could raise food prices, especially in poor countries. In Chicago, U.S. wheat prices soared on the latest developments in the war. President Vladimir Putin said Western nations had completely distorted the expired deal but said Russia would immediately return to it if all its conditions for doing so were met. The In-N-Out burger chain will bar employees in five states from wearing masks unless they have a doctor's note, according to internal company emails leaked on social media. In the memo announcing the new guidelines for Arizona, Colorado, Nevada, Texas and Utah workers, the fast food chain pointed to the importance of customer service and the ability to show our associates smiles and other facial features while considering the health and well-being of all individuals. The policy, which goes into effect on August 14, applies to all in and out employees in those states, except for those who need to wear masks or other protective gear for job duties that require it, like painting. Employees could face disciplinary action, including being fired if they do not comply, the memo said. California and Oregon both have laws in place preventing employers from banning masks. It's not the first time that the chain, based in California, has clashed with health experts over safety measures that were first put in place as deaths from COVID-19 skyrocketed during the pandemic. In October 2021, several in and out locations in California faced fines or were temporarily closed because the burger chain refused to enforce COVID-19 vaccination rules. An ongoing energy crisis and an economic downturn is expected to slow global power demand growth in 2023, but a probable rebound next year means more renewable capacity needs to be developed, the International Energy Agency said yesterday. The global growth rate for energy consumption is set to slow slightly less than 2% this year, down from 2.3% the year before, which was also down from the five-year pre-COVID average of 2.4%. For 2024, however, the rate is expected to rise to 3.3% as the economic outlook improves, the IEA data showed. The Paris-based agency predicted renewable energy would cover the expected growth this year and next, and power from renewable sources would exceed one-third of the total global power supply for the first time next year. However, hydropower has declined, falling about 2% in 2020 through 2022, compared to 1990 to 2016 figures, which represent about 240 terawatt-hours, or the annual consumption of Spain. Anticipating challenges on hydropower related to climate change and planning accordingly will be crucial for the efficient and sustainable use of hydro resources, the IEA said. The renewable growth should help cut global emissions, as emissions increases in China and India are expected to be offset by declines in other countries, where renewable deployment is growing and gas continues to replace coal, the IEA said. 
The European Union alone accounts for 40% of the total decline in emissions from power generation. Prices in the United States, however, have retreated almost to 2019 levels. The country's demand is expected to decline by 1.7% this year due to slowing economic growth and to rebound in 2024 to 2% down from the 2.6% recorded in 2022. The growth is expected to come from increased use of household appliances, a rise in electrical machinery usage, an increase in electric vehicles, and greater demand for cooling. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health, and climate, delivering independent, unbiased, and essential world news daily.